up. Now when you see the, the video of the sky at the top okay, of the we'll just, tent. We'll just do it here. And then we'll read. We'll, we'll wait for the newest leader here. Well, you only lost two Jiffy Pots on the road. <laughs> Like a, I think we could do one of these during a flood year or during a dry year. Oh, yeah. I'd probably put more edible plants oh, on there. Yeah, a little pasture because I'm a total yeah. carnivore, you know, so I'm going to have to raise some animals. <laughs> All right, we're going to try to wheel it around the easy up here over to the spillway. Yeah. Try not to lose any more plants going so fast. Come on, guys. You guys, <laughs> you guys are animals. <laughs> Um, why don't we put a rope both on the trailer and on the uh, restorer before uh, we lose them both? Like there can be people on both sides. Yeah. Oh, get, yeah. get the people here, yeah. then we can wheel up. Because this is a little bit. Yeah, whoever's going to be down, you get down, and then we'll. We could we could just lean the back part could stay here, and then the rest of us could get down and mm -hmm. reshuffle. Mm -hmm. How about that? All right. Who's ready? Oh, he wanted to tie a rope to this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Safety rope. This is pretty fancy. I like these, these pillars inside the spillway. Right. Everybody needs to levitate. Yeah, right? Think light, think light. It's gonna float. Let's put it in the water. What's that? Very cool knot you just did. Oh, this is splice? That was my former life as I was a uh, itinerant dude. merchant marine, yeah. <laughs> Boat delivery guy. Let's do it. What are we gonna go down the spillway? Yeah, we were gonna go here and then launch it that way. Right on. We could tilt the trailer or we could just let's just pick it up. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, don't walk over this edge because then you can flip, but maybe some people can. Yeah, we'll just support it to right here yeah. and yeah. then everybody can walk down. Yeah, oh, trailer's oh, going. Okay. Yeah, we'll pull through. So we can stand on the thing. Yeah, we'll yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, it's just getting out of the Yeah, well, we're gonna. Oh, well, we're yeah, gonna... yeah. <laughs> we didn't break the bottle of champagne. Woo! Yeah. Well, that one did. <laughs> In. All right. Nice. So that's where we wanted it to float. Yeah! Nice job. Nice job, everybody. So soon. Roots are going to be growing out the back of that. All that stuff we put in there that's all biodynamic is going to be interacting with this water. And the next phase of this course is Richard's going to be talking to you about sustainable do-it-yourself ways of circulating this water. And in the future, this pond could be much more heavily loaded and grow more fish because all this nitrogen and phosphorus can come to us and the rainfall falls to us. And then we can convert it to the algae and fish flush and make this pond super productive but also super healthy and clear. So. More of these do-it-yourself floating islands with do-it-yourself water circulation devices. And this is, you know, again, Living Web has done a fantastic thing by giving us this opportunity to do this. Now, I and, had a question. Should we get some blocks in before we get another big rain so we can go down the spillway and anchor it over there someplace? Yeah, we should canoe it and maybe. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, we can just walk it around with a line right over yeah, here and yeah, just tie it off to the fence. Because this could be a big rain. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Car Island. Well, we already know it can survive 60 mile an hour speeds. So but wait, 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 wait. Before we do that, we got a little, we got some adjustment to the plants. It's going to be most easily done here.
Right. Um, yeah, so uh, we want to make sure all these jiffy, <laughs> jiffy pots are down in there. And um, what do they have to be? A little deeper? Yeah, I want the jiffy pots at least halfway and down. You want some other some? So I guess you thought if it floated, you didn't have to add more soil, right? Is that the idea? Uh, no, we don't have to add more soil. And just make sure that it's. Actually, I'd like for. Uh, we have it. We have the soil right there. Are you barefooted? Yeah. I wonder what would happen just if you stepped on. No, we don't need to step on actually because we got the thing. <laughs> Just uh, put if, if you can, if you can just, just put put your weight on it and kind of just don't we don't want to float away the media but we just want to make sure it gets damp right now if we could do that on both sides. That floats exactly where you thought it would. Yeah, yeah. Pull the loop around with the bamboo and get it more intense. Would like one of these this size work for a pond like this, or would you want no. more? You want more? I would say more. Yeah. More? Okay. With surface area, more is better. Okay. Yeah, and this should be bigger, but this would seem like something we could do reasonably in a day with a class. And oh, so this cool. was a, like, so, you know, the, but really we could have done a 10 foot wide one with the bamboo things, but we just didn't know what we know now. You know, we've learned a lot today. And one is K-Pok rocks. Look at that, just puffing up, pop, pop. Yeah, wow. the K-Pok is doing it. That's awesome. I mean, that's perfect. Look at the cedar yeah. is halfway. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if we can get every one of those jiffy pots, pot, so it's like right down at the level of the K-Pok, top of the K-Pok bags. And if, you know, if the jiffy pot breaks up and you're just putting clay in there, all good. Really tempted to go for a voyage on this. I know. <laughs> you get the sea in your blood. Every plant look well situated in the center part too. So in a year, there's going to be three foot roots hanging down off of this, and there's going to be a community. And also, what happened is. These are going to act really effectively as fish nurseries because the little fry can go up and hide in the roots and they don't get predated on, so they can get to a more viable size and then they get out. And so this is going to be like a, a, a fish nursery and like people are going to start figuring out that if you want to go fishing on this pond, you just put a cast right by this one and you're going to come back with a granddaddy that's waiting for one of the little guys under there. Uh, have you ever seen like a mini version of this? Like I, I, have a, I live in the city, but we have like a like 50 by 50 square backyard and I want to put in like a, a smaller fish pond. Yeah. And that's really cool. I never thought about anything like this as far as like helping people water. Like, could you do something like this big around, like a little mini island with just like a few plants on it? Or yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. if there was like a size where you go like below a certain size. No, 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 no. I mean, you're just going to have to pay more attention with your small because they're more delicate, right? Smaller biology. The yeah. bigger a biology, the more robust it is. Okay. Cool. No, just make sure whatever you got to do, just to suspend plant roots over there. And sometimes that's just easier, just filling up with the, those expanded clay pellets okay. instead of having an island and just planting right on the expand to make part of your fish tank a, a little constructed wetland, yeah, and pump through that. I just think the island's cool. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> it's just such a neat concept. We can finish this discussion inside, probably, right? Um, sure. I don't think we have to worry about watering the plants per se. All right, that's good for now. We'll let this blow over if it will. Yeah, pretty psyched about this.
Are we having fun yet?